Welcome back. In this module, we'll discuss resource types in project and how they are used within your schedules. First, let's, let's take a look at the resource types that we have available to us. Now, the first one is one that you may be familiar with, which is work. You can think of this as your team. This is John the developer, Rick the tester, Sue the team lead. These are resources that are going to be working on your schedule, right? Typically thought of as full-time employees. Then you have material resources, and these are consumable items within your project, something that is going to be used up, reams of paper, for example, or lumber. Then you have a cost resource type, and the cost resource type allows you to apply the cost at the point of assignment. This is where you can essentially associate a hotel bill or a plane ticket. So let's take a look at that here. And as you can see, I'm in the resource sheet already. And if you're not there, if I go back to the Gantt chart, a quick and easy way to get from the Gantt chart to the resource sheet is using the right mouse button. And I'll do that, navigate to the resource sheet. And let's add a couple resources here. And so I'll click under resource name, and I'll type in Steve here, Masters, hit the Enter key. Let's put in another name here. I'll do Susie. And so these are what we would think of as being work resources. And you'll notice that over to the right, it says work, which is Steve as a work resource, Susie as a work resource. But then I'm going to type in that ream of paper here. And I'll tab it over, and I'm going to change this type to material. And you'll notice what goes away over here on the right-hand side. It no longer says max. It changes the way the standard rate is represented. It's no longer by the hour, but it looks to just be a single uh, amount, right? A single, a single a dollar amount that would be placed in here, nothing per hour. And then over to the right of that, you'll notice that the calendar goes away. So there's some different attributes that are changing, including things like overtime. Then I'll click right below the ream of paper, and let's go ahead and get that plane ticket in there. And I'll tab over, and this time I'll change it to the cost resource type. And what you'll notice when you change it to cost, even the standard rate goes away, and it's not expected for us to click in here and type in an amount for the plane ticket, because we're going to set that amount at the point of assignment. So this allows us to then represent the plane ticket, and we'll assign it to a task in an, in an upcoming session. Right now, the big takeaway is how you enter in these resources, and what is the effect of changing the resource type. And as you can see here, I can simply change that back and forth, and it'll change the attributes of that particular resource. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our videos. Um, please subscribe to get updates on Project, Project Online, the new project for web and other interesting and fun topics. So we look forward to seeing you and we'll be pushing some more videos up. So subscribe and check out the next video.